friends, welcome back to Foundational Truth. Our God is so faithful and he's so good. Today's a day of rejoicing because the Lord has overcome. How many of you know there is no power greater than the power of Jesus? No enemy can stand against the power of Jesus and fight against God's plans for his people and fight against God's people and win. For there is no power greater than the power of Jesus. And the Lord has given us the name above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow to the feet of Jesus. Every person that has been trying to destroy you, every person, every situation that's been trying to torment you, they had to bow to the feet of Jesus for there is no power greater. Friends, I'm here to remind you today that your enemy has been defeated. Everything that was set against you, every plan to destroy your life, that has been destroyed in the name of Jesus. And that giant is not going to fall. That giant has fallen. That giant has come tumbling down. And the enemy that you saw yesterday, that you saw two weeks ago, that you saw months ago, wherever your enemy is, that enemy has been defeated by the power of the name of Jesus. When you go into God's you court, are unrepentant and you are relentless and you, you go after God's people trying to oppress them, God deals with you. And so the enemy has been judged and the enemy has come tumbling down. And so friends, today is a day of rejoicing. Today is a day of rejoicing. Today is an amazing day. Praise God, because the giant has fallen. God took care of that for you. And so this month, as you have entered the month of March, I just feel like this month in my spirit is such a supernatural month. And this is what I heard the Lord say. He said, you have entered the land flowing with milk and honey. You have entered the land flowing with milk and honey. You have entered a place of wholeness and rest. Hallelujah. Friend, you have entered a place of wholeness and rest. You have entered into the land. So change is coming upon your life even now, even today, friends. Even today, there is such great change that is happening in this month and in the months to come that your life is going to seem unrecognizable and not just to other people, but to you. There is so much that is coming in this month. And I believe in my spirit that this begins today. You have entered the land of milk and honey. So everything is about to change for you. your life is never going to be the same. And I also heard the Lord say, it is your time. Your time has come. The blessing is here, friend. Your time has come and it will bring no sorrows. Instead, it will make you rich. This blessing is going to make you rich in relationships, rich in your family life, rich in confidence and community, rich in love and peace and forgiveness and rich in finances. Friend, the blessing is here and God's glory is about to be displayed in your life. Your elevation and your crowning is going to demonstrate God's glory. And when it comes, all honor and glory will always be brought back to him. For we will know it is not us rather that has done this, but it is the Lord himself. So you have entered the land of milk and honey. And I want to read just quickly in Joshua. The Lord's promises are being fulfilled in your life this month. It will begin this month and it will continue throughout the months to come. And so when Joshua had gone into the land and defeated the giants in there, this is what it says in Joshua 21 verse 43. So the Lord gave to Israel 
all the land he has sworn to their ancestors and they took possession of it and settled there. You are being settled permanently. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just like he said, wholeness and rest for you. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors. None of their enemies could stand against them, for the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies. You don't have to worry about your enemies in this land because the Lord is with you. And not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the people of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came through. Everything the Lord has spoken to you is about to come true. All of the things that the Lord has said to you that no one knows about, that is going to become a reality to you. And you claim this by faith, yes, because we know everything happens in the spirit before it manifests in the flesh. But listen, the Lord is coming through and there's going to be a physical manifestation. This is going to come to you. This is no longer going to be something that's in the spirit. It's going to manifest in the flesh. This is going to come to you. And I speak to you out of my spirit. This is coming to you. Hallelujah. And so begin to give God things, friends. Begin to glorify and honor his name. He is about to absolutely astound you. So the blessing is here. The blessing is here. The blessing is here. Hallelujah. And you could feel it all over that the blessing of the Lord is here. And so friends, claim that blessing for it is yours. It is here. And not one promise that he has spoken to you will go unfulfilled. Not one promise. Whether it's this month or April or May or June or whatever month. But not one promise he has spoken to you will ever go unfulfilled because our God is good and he is faithful. So friends, you are about to testify of the goodness of the Lord. It's truly going to be remarkable. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And Father, we just thank you for the blessing that you are bestowing into the lives of your faithful ones. Father, you are a faithful God. You're a faithful Father. And we thank you for all these blessings and these promises that you are giving to us. We are so grateful and we are so thankful. And I speak peace over your people. Let there be no anxiety in their hearts, God. I speak peace over them. And may your peace permeate their thoughts and permeate their entire beings and permeate every area of their life. May, may, may your peace reign in their hearts now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you for being a promise keeper. We love you so much. We bless your holy name. Thank you, friends, for watching. And I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.